Hey guys, Funk Roberts here. I'm known around the world as a guy who helps men in their 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s get in the best shape of their lives, and I wanna help you. I've got an awesome 20 minute home body weight workout, no equipment needed, but first, I'm holding a seven day challenge, a seven day workout challenge, and I want you to be part of it. It's absolutely free. You get follow along workouts sent to your email address every single day, you train with the Funkster, but this is a way to kickstart your fitness to get you into the best shape of your life. Sometimes you just need a kick, and this is the way to do it and the workouts are designed for men in their 40s 50s and 60s so click anywhere on this page or in this video and join it's absolutely free i don't need your credit card i don't need anything else i just need your name and email address so i can send you workouts so today we've got a 20 minute workout this is a, again home hit workout it's going to help us burn calories burn fat while we get strong using our own body weight now we have 10 exercises. Each exercise is 30 seconds of work followed by 30 seconds rest, one after the other for two straight rounds. So this is gonna be tough, it's metabolic, but these are the type of short workouts that are gonna help you get amazing results, all right? So listen, just follow along with me. I'm gonna coach you through, we're gonna do this workout together. The first exercise, you'll see it below, it's high knee runs. Okay, you guys ready? I've got the timer, so you just guys get ready to go in five, four, three, two, one, here we go. So it's round one, high knees. We're just jogging on the spot. So the first thing you wanna do is just get that heart going. We've already warmed up, of course. And in the seven day challenge, you'll get warm ups, you'll get stretches, and you'll get workouts. Good. Try to get those knees high, keep those elbows tight to the body. Good, keep going. Balls of your feet too, try to stay nice and, nice and light. If you nose out to your mouth, you want to get that oxygen in. Next exercise, push up, T raise, okay? So now we're hitting the upper body, of course the chest, shoulders, arms, but we're adding that rotation as well. Very, very important, guys. We're moving on all ranges of motion here. Deep through your nose out to your mouth. And again, I want you all to do regular push ups, okay? Um, throughout these 30 seconds. Here we go. So down, and then up and rotate. Good, down, up, rotate. So when you're going into the push-up, keep those elbows tight to the body. Don't let them flare out. <sighs> Inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. <sighs> Sorry, back. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. <sighs> Good, all the way down, guys. <sighs> Core tight, <sighs> rotate. <sighs> Boom, good. Good work, good work, all right. So we got the upper body. Next exercise, we're gonna hit the lower body. We're gonna do reverse lunges, okay? Alternating reverse lunges at first. So as you can see, my, you know, my breathing is a little labored, and that's good. That's what we want. We wanna start forcing that body, forcing that metabolism to kick in, and forcing the cardio and the calories to burn. All right, here we go. Reverse lunge. I'll show you guys how to do this. Here we go. So just step back into a lunge. Now the key here is making sure you keep that, that back straight. So you can bend over just slightly, right? Not too much though. And when you step back, focus on that front leg pushing off, right? And you gotta keep the core tight. If you don't keep the core tight, you're gonna lose your balance. You guys may be asking Funk, why you got those compression shorts on? Compression pants. Hey man. I'm 51 years old. I gotta keep my joints nice and tight, keep everything nice and right. So I like to wear these comp compression pants. You know, it keeps me, gets my body warmed up. And again, as you get older, our joints hurt more and more. So we gotta be protecting them as much as possible. Down on the ground, reverse crunch. So now we're hitting the lower abs. You guys know, it's tough to get rid of the, the fat around the lower abs. And of course, nutrition is gonna be key but well, we gotta do exercises that strengthen. So this is one of them, here we go. Whew. So you're gonna come down, and then you're gonna try to bring that belly button to your chest. Good, exhale on the way up. And then control on the way down. And as you're coming down, try to push the lower back into the ground. Good, now some people, you may not be able to get this far. That's okay guys, you will work to that. Just do the best you can. Do the best you can, okay. Back up for some more cardio. We're gonna do jumping jacks to seal jacks. 
Okay, so now if you have bad knees, just step out. If you have bad knees, just step out, right? Just, but we gotta keep the body moving. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump, but again, if you have bad knees, you know, you're not strong enough yet, then just step out. Again, we wanna get the heart going again. <sighs> Breathing. How you guys feeling so far? Not too bad right now. Here we go. Remember, this is just a kickstart. I'm not trying to kill you guys here. Good. So seal jacks, you're just spreading your hands out. Jumping jacks, well, I don't have to explain that one. Stay on the balls of your feet though, nice and light. Good, you shouldn't be able to hear your feet. Keep those knees slightly bent. Good. Now this takes a little bit of coordination. You'll get it. No problem. All right, we're gonna go down, hit the back. Rear delts on the back. Body weight's tough sometimes to do this. So let me get, let me catch my breath again. Deep through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, deep through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, here we go. So we're gonna do what's called upper body Superman, but we're gonna do some presses. Remember the, uh, the, the pull downs, right? Remember those pull downs that you used to do back in the day in the gym? That's what we're gonna do here. So let's go up first, squeeze the glutes. We're gonna go up like Superman and pull back. Up and pull back. But make sure that you push your, you have a pelvic tilt and literally push your crotch into the ground. That's gonna protect your lower back. Try to keep, and the whole time that you're pulling down, you can even keep your fist. Just try to make sure that your hands don't touch the ground, elbows don't touch the ground. You're gonna feel that. Some people are gonna feel that upper, you know, lats. Some people are gonna feel the rear delt. Some people are gonna feel it lower. Um, okay, let's do some Everest climbers. Scratch that, let's do mountain climbers first. Okay, we'll do the mountain climbers so you get this exercise. And again, this is a core cardio movement, right? Combining the movements together. Gotta keep the core tight, but we gotta drive the knees. The reason why I'm just talking to you through this so you understand why you're doing these exercises. So again, adding a little cardio, bringing those knees close to your chest, pulling those in, core's gotta be tight, back straight, breathe. Don't care how fast you go, just drive. Good. Feels in your shoulders, feels in your core. Oh, it's tough. All right, back up. All right, we're doing squats, pogo hop squats. Again, if you have bad knees, just do squats, do them continuously, and do the best you can. All right, there's always ways to progress or regress in exercises and different variations. You still get a great workout. We're gonna do some pogo hop or gate swing. So here we go. So here, down into a squat. Down, good. Now the squat, make sure you're going down as far as you can. Knees are pointed out. Your feet, different people's feet are gonna be different. So don't worry about that. Just make sure your heels are on the ground. Try to sit back. Don't let, don't move forward. Sit back. Good. Deep, blast off through the heels, okay? Okay, back down to plank body raise. Just planks. So again, depending on what level you're at, you may just do planks, right? Let's so all start in the plank, and then I'll coach you guys through on what to do. Plank raise, body raise, what we wanna do. Again, hitting the rectus abdominis now, right down that middle. And the lower abs too, but we're gonna, and the core of course. So into the plank. Now planking, after a point, it doesn't get too hard. So if we raise, then pull your belly button in as you raise the body. Exhale on the way up. Good. And we're just moving at a moderate speed right now. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze those, good. Final exercise, we're doing bare burpees, no jump. Again, 
with the knees, because I know as we're getting older, not all of us have great knees, but we will get there. We will get there. You can just step back burpee. But I'm gonna do a bear burpee. So you're gonna get into a bear position, quadruped position. You'll see below. Again, metabolic exercise, but we're not gonna add the jump. If this is like the third or fourth time we're doing this workout, add the jump, here we go. So down into a bear and stand up. Down, good. Get into that bear position, which means knees are not on the ground. Good, back straight. Good, squeeze the glutes when you stand up. Good, hold. Good. Like I said, it's only round one. Good work, okay. Let's keep going now, keep going. Back to the high knees now, high runs. Okay, so we ended off that with the bear burpees. Now we're back into the high knees. Again, when you do a lot of core stuff too, it takes your breath away. Cause you really gotta, you know, get that pillar, suck that in. Like someone's punching you in the stomach. You still gotta breathe though. All right, here we go, high knees. Let's do this, round number two now. Still 30-30. Still doing 30 seconds of work, but now we're warmed up. So try to move faster if you can. Good. Don't tighten yourself up, be nice and loose. We'll keep the core tight. Drive the knees up. Keep going. Good work. Oh, now you can see the more work you do, the faster you go, the better the outcome's gonna be. But don't compromise your form. Smell that rose. If then you have a rose, smell it. Get that oxygen in. Push up T-Race, here we go. You got some time to rest, really focus on oxygen. Here we go. Down. Again, core's gotta be tight. Well, the exercise, exercise ain't right. <laughs> That's what we talking about here. Let's go, fellas. Let's put some work in. Let's do this. Nice funk in, in round one. The get it done funk is coming out of round two. That's right. We're putting in some work. We're not here to take part. We're here to take over. All right, let's do this. All right. Okay, reverse lunge. I'm gonna add a rotation. You don't have to do this. But again, we wanna be moving in different planes of motion, right? If we wanna get strong as we get older. So important. Remember guys, join that seven day challenge. Follow along workouts just like this. Just like this. Get you in great shape. Kickstart your fitness. And I wanna work out with you too. Can't wait. Here we go. Reverse lunge, slight rotation to the knee that's in the front. Slight rotation. Body's tall. Down and then rotate. I don't want you to rotate at the same time. Go back into the isometric lunge. Hold, hold, hold. Rotate. Good. But move fast if you can. Rotate. Good. Now, if you can't, then just do reverse lunge. Speed it up. Push off with that front leg. Right? How are, those, how are those legs feeling right now? Mine are getting tight. Mine are getting tight. All right. Abs, baby. Let's sculpt those abs. Let's go. You guys know too that in order to see the six pack, you gotta get your nutrition on point. But let's get you working out first. Let's get that, let's get that going. The right workouts designed for you guys. 40s, 50s, 60s. I'm 51 years old, man. I don't play. Here we go. Here we go. Now keep your shoulders off the ground, okay? I want you to look at those feet. Look at them travel all the way down and then all the way up. Exhale on the way up. Watch the toes. That'll make sure that you're engaging and pushing the lower part of your back into the ground. Good. And then again, you can move faster, but control the legs. Control. Woo! And control the the body farts that go on. All right. Back up for some cardio now. 
We're doing jumping jacks to seal jacks. Again, balls of your feet, knees are just slightly bent. Ooh, something may have come out there. <laughs> That's what happens when you're working out with a funster. You never know. But you just keep getting it done. Just keep getting it done. How you guys feeling? How you feeling? Here we go, ready? Let's go a little bit faster if we can. And again, if you just have to step out, step out. No shame in that game. We just wanna move. Good. And then, as we're spreading our hands, we're actually engaging our lats, the back, right? Squeeze the back. Squeeze, keep the core tight, body tall. Breathe. Good work. All right, let's get back down on our stomach, prone position. That means on your chest and your stomach. And let's get in and do those pull downs. Remember, lat pull downs, back in the day. Remember that? Remember what you guys used to do? Let's do the same thing. We can use our body weight and do that same exercise. Bring those shoulder blades together, squeeze them at the bottom of the movement. And then push, push your crotch into the ground. Good. But make sure your hands don't touch the ground, elbows don't touch the ground. And different people will feel this in different places. I feel this in the lower back. I feel this in my lats. Oh yeah. Rear delts. Some people may feel it just in the rear delts. Just squeeze at the bottom. Let it come all the way up. Squeeze. Good. Good work. Stretch out too. Sometimes you gotta do a little bit of a stretch. Okay, we did we did mountain climbers in round number one. We're gonna do Everest climbers in round number two. That means your feet are gonna be outside of your hands instead of inside. Different variation. I'm telling you, the functions bringing it to you, man. The functions bringing it to you. We ain't just doing this this boring ass exercises. We gotta we gotta give you variations. You know what I'm saying? That work. So here it is. So again, stay in the balls of your feet, a little bit of a dip. Good. And just look at, just again, try to stare at those feet. Bring them as far, as high as you can get them. Oh, now. You're probably saying, Funk, why, are, why is my chest hurting when I'm doing Everest climbers? Well, because we're pushing down on the ground, right? All right, here we go. Let's do some pogo hop squats. Again, if you don't want to do the hop, then just focus on the squat. Keep your nose out your mouth. Let's get that oxygen in. We're almost done, guys. Let's put in the work. Keep going. Here we go. Deep and then explode up. So go deep and explode. So again, knees pointed out, sitting back into the squat. That means the heels are gonna drive you up. Heels, push through the heels. Let's speed up. Good. Feel the glutes. Oh man, that was tough. I'm not gonna lie to you, man, that was tough. That extra hop adds a little sizzle to the quads, you know what I'm saying? That extra hop. It may not seem like it is a lot, but that explosive movement hits those fast twitch fibers, which we want as we get older, because we lose it as we get older. Our body has more fast twitch than slow twitch. We gotta keep those going. Just like back in the day, baby. It's like back in the day, okay. Let's get into this plank and then up. Remember, pull the belly button in. Exhale. And try to get that body straight. I know it's very difficult for you to figure out if your body's straight or not. So sometimes you just want a small little pulses. Good. All right, final exercise. Ah, bare burpees. Again, you don't have to jump. 
I may add a couple of jumps, you know. My ego's starting to get at me. I'm feeling good. You know, I'm 51. You're 40, 50, 60, or 70. You're feeling good. So let's do this. Let's add that hop. If you can't, no worries. You're just gonna do the step back. But listen, we're here to get some work done, right? You hear my voice there? It's starting to crackle. We're gonna get some work done, right? Okay, here we go. Good. Stick, stick that bear. Boom, good. Core tight. Core tight. No knees. Make sure the knees don't touch the ground. Good. Explode up. Good. Yeah. Good work, my brother. Yes. Let me breathe. You too, let's breathe. Give me those knucks, give me those knucks. That's my boy. Great job. Now, I want you to join me in my seven day free challenge workout. Every day, some total body, some abs, but this is a kickstart to get you into awesome shape. So, click the link somewhere on this page, in the description box, wherever you see this, and join for free. I don't need no credit card. All I need is your name and email address so I can send you workouts every day for seven days. Warm-ups, workouts, stretches. Let's do this. I'm the Funkster, and you're about to join me for a seven-day challenge, and I cannot wait to see you in that first workout. If it's on YouTube, like, share, comment, and I'll see you in that first workout. Join the free challenge, and I'll see you soon. Get it done. Ah.